welcome to SST College of Arts and Commerce. You are watching SST Edupedia. I am Assistant Professor Varsha Savlani. In this video, we will see about the references and citation in research methodology. This topic is for the MCOM Part 1 SEM 2 students and SY BAF SEM 4 students. What is references and citation? Every researcher, to avoid the plagiarism, they need to mention the references, they need to mention in the form of bibliography. How to write the bibliography, how to write the references, in this we will see. So what exactly the references means? References means giving the credit to the authors, those who have given ideas, those who have made their research report and if we are using their ideas, their concepts in our research work, so we need to give them the credit. Okay, So it allows us to acknowledge the contribution made by other writers and researchers in our work. Why citation is required to avoid the plagiarism and to respect the IPR, intellectual property rights we have to respect. So every researcher need to make the same in the references. So references also, not only of the content, but also if we are taking any pictures, graphs, pictograms, etc. So that also we need to mention from where we have taken such a type of graph, such a type of tables or information in our research work. So that is what the references means. Now what kind of information do I need to refer? What kind? Like we are referring the books and journal articles. So that we have to cite. Then we are, uh, might be at times we are using newspaper articles or magazines that we have to cite. Then pamphlets or uh, brochures if for any information we are using such a type of information in our uh, research work. So we have to mention that any films, documentaries, television programs, if we are taking any information or the uh, characters, uh, we can say acting, etc. We can refer, we can put the citation in our research work. Letters, emails or discussions received or uh, we are having such a access to these uh, sources, we have to cite such a type of even if we are using any ideas or concepts of our lecturers or tutors, so we need to take the permission from them and we have to refer in our research work. So, which are the different styles of writing the references? Broadly, there are the three styles of writing the references in the research work. One is APA style, that is American Psychological Association. Second one is MLA style, Modern Language Association and third is CMS, Chicago Manual style. These are the three styles of writing the bibliography or we can say references in our research work. Now how to choose which style I need to write in our research work, which style I need to present like these are the three styles, so which style we need to write the references. If I talk about APA style, it's mainly for the educationist, it's mainly for the psychology and science field. So these three field people uh, may use the APA format of writing the citation. Now how to write that APA citation, we'll look after in this slide. Uh, then MLA, Modern Language Association, this is a style which is adopted by the humanities, fine arts, etc. So the humanities related if we are doing the research, so we have to adopt, we have to implement the MLA style of writing the bibliography. Then last is Chicago manual style. Chicago manual style is mainly used by the business or corporate houses. And whenever we are doing the historical research or fine arts at that point of time, we have to refer the Chicago manual style of writing the citation. Now, these three are the APA, MLA, CMA. So these three, which are the styles of writing? What is the format of writing the APA style? Let's look format like American Psychological Association in this. First, we have to write the author's last name. Then we have to write the first initials only and middle initial. Okay, like in this, Salinger is the last name of the author. J. 
from starting j is a first initial of the author and middle initial is d then year of publication this book was published in the year say for example 1951 what is the title of the book the catcher in the rain okay and who is the publisher bag bay books like this for this uh, say for example for this subject research methodology the author's name is michael vas so last name vas middle name or first initial m then year of publication for example 2021 the title of the book is research methodology for business the publication is manan prakashan so likewise which book we are referring the author's name year of publication title of book and publisher's name this is the sequence of writing the apa citation style okay talking about the second style mla modern language association in this author's last name we have to write then first name in previous first name initial in this first name entire first name we have to write then title of a particular book title of collection then edit or editor's name publisher's name year as well as the page number which we are using like in the entire book it's of 180 pages so which book i have referred uh, which page i have referred in that book for example i have referred 61 62 pages so i have to mention the page number also like uh, michael vas research methodology page number so and so 61 and 62 so this is the format of writing mla in case of humanities if we are doing the research so that is the second style of format of writing the citation the third one is cms chicago manual of style the chicago manual citation in this we have to write the first name first and last name of the author then book name publication location also we have to refer then publisher's name publisher's year and page number so these all are the things in case of cms citation in case of historical or business research or fine arts at that point of time we have to refer this format of writing the citation one more thing the students those who are doing phd they are making the thesis so they have to uh, make they have to put footnote at the end of the page they have to put references after every end of the chapter and bibliography at the end of the entire thesis at the end of the entire report so these three things might be someone says they are the synonyms but they are the different footnotes are written at the end of the page references are at the end of the chapter like in my report say for example there are seven chapters seven time the references come after end of the chapter 1 i'll write the references which i used for the chapter 1 likewise chapter 2 chapter 3 at the end of chapter 2 chapter 3 references i have to mention and the bibliography at the end of the report so these three things might be someone say they are correlated okay so this is how we need to write the citation these are the three styles of writing citation thank you for watching